In today's video, we are going to discuss about a few advantages and disadvantages of using a folder structure in a SharePoint document library. I know there is a discussion going on like we should not create folder structure on that. But yeah, I will tell you, uh, you know, few advantages and disadvantages of a folder structure. In other videos, we will discuss about that, how we can use metadata for uh, uh, within a library. So I'll have a separate video for it. But today we will focus only on the folder structure, which we are uh, going to cover with some examples on this. If you are new to the channel, my name is Vijay and I'm a Microsoft MVP. And if you are, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe it so that you will get notification whenever I'll make videos like this. Now coming to the topic, now let's understand what are the advantages of having a folder structure on a library. So first thing is you will have a familiar organizational structure. Let's say you are migrating or you are started using SharePoint and you want to store your documents. You know what are the kind of documents your users are using. Uh, so I have also taken an example on this, uh, which is a marketing document, campaigning document. We are also going to create. Um, you know that folder structure so let's say in a marketing document you want to store documents related to campaigning and uh, banding maybe uh, you know the reports these kind of reports you want to store so since you know this structure and you can create folders uh, uh, like this campaigning and uh, reports like this and you can store documents on that and then another advantage is the permission management imagine you want to give permission to a set of a person to a particular folder so you can do that by using uh, you know in this folder structure and then uh, you know it will improve the performance if you know about the list list threshold limit where uh, you cannot have more than 5000 items at a time you cannot view it so uh, in that case first thing that uh, you know one of the suggestion that uh, you should follow is create structures and uh, you can create folders and subfolder to store so that you will not reach that limit and then you, you will have a con contextual uh, grouping on this so whenever you will, you will have a library you will be familiar with that and within one library you can get everything you can get all your uh, you know um, related documents in that so you know that which folder you need to go and you know the context and you are you are based on that only you have already created it now or to 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 let you understand this thing a little more uh, practical way now let's say campaigning is our folder within that you have created another folder like uh, let's say year wise maybe 2024 and within 2024 maybe you want to store based on the quarter suppose q1 q2 q3 q4 you have four folders and you know uh, like if i want to store q1 related document of this particular year then where i will go like so you have that uh, you know grouping you you know this so these are few advantages that you can have and then uh, what are the limitations now limitations uh, all the limitations will come when uh, it will have a more complex structure now whatever i said it is hardly one or two level of uh, folders that we have created uh, but uh, if you have multiple folders multiple means in nested folders uh, you know you'll have a folder subfolder nested subfolder within that another folder so when you will have that structure then the url uh, you know lim length limitation will come into the picture so you should have a note on this like if you are having that kind of things then probably you start uh, you know uh, dividing that to multiple libraries something like that you can have a note at and then same way if your folder is crossing more than 5000 items then you will come to the list view threshold also so uh, you know understand that way when i said that list view threshold will not come but if it is more than 5000 on this case again that will also come and then uh, it will become really very much complex and usability also will be difficult when you will have a lot of folder and a lot of nested folders subfolders like this so your users will also get confused and it will be difficult for you to manage it and same thing is the permission thing now as long as there are uh, very few folders are there which is easy to manage but at the same time when the structure become complex then the permission management also will become complex because uh, you know overall what you are doing is you are doing all the permission management within the same library so more complex structure then the permission will also create the problem and now the last and this is going to be a major problem if you will do on the folder structure 
is the duplicate and redundant data imagine your a library is used by a lot of business users or maybe a users who have not quite familiar with this and when the folder structure maybe you will see that they have put a lot of documents which might not be required on that folder and even by mistakely they put they will not delete it and they will go and in another folder they will add those documents also so since it is not within the same structure so it will not show you the uh, warnings also like for example if you are going to uh, you know let's say hr docx is a file you want to store it and uh, same file you feel put in the same folder again then it will show you that there is a file if you want to override it but if you will upload the same document in another folder then there is a problem right so uh, because the same now the same file is available in two places and you don't know wh which one your users are using maybe the person who know clearly about it they are modifying in one document and i am as a end user i am searching for the document both the files came and i, I uh, you know uh, started using the other file which is not updated so this kind of problems will come when you will have uh, a very complex structure so folder structure all these problems will come when you will have a very complex structure is not that you cannot do it but the problem is th you have to deal with this uh, all these disadvantages so now what we will do is we'll go to the system and i will first show you the structure uh, you know what are the things basically we are going to create and then we will create the same uh, uh, library and we will have all the folder structure created in this so now let's go to the system and uh, you know check it out but if you want to learn sharepoint from the beginning then check out our uh, sharepoint development training course uh, i'll put the link in the video description also so now let's go to the system now let me show you the example for which uh, we are going to create the structure of uh, the document library which will include some folders and subfolders now suppose there is a for a marketing site you want to store some of the marketing documents look at the picture here now you can see it here the marketing documents can have companies uh, maybe based on yearly quarterly right so you can create a folder on campaigning and within that maybe subfolders with the name of year and then uh, another subfolder which will be based on uh, q1 q2 q3 q4 like this same way for every year you can have this structure and then uh, with campaigning you might want to store your branding details maybe your logos banners font guidelines all these things on that and then another one is the reports maybe you want to store uh, monthly quarterly annual reports now uh, yeah you can like it is since it's all these documents are related to marketing documents uh, and all are related to this all these things are very related it is not ideal that uh, you will create separate separate library for it so you should create uh, one library and you can have folders in this now uh, why folders because uh, you know you can have uh, in the later point of time if you want to give permission you can give also in that way so now what i'll do here is we i'll open a serpent site you can see here now on this if you'll see here i'll click on the library and then here i will just copy the names here because i have already created and then click on blank library i'll just create it and then click on create uh, so the library is got created here if you are uh, new to this then this is how you can create a library and on this if you will see there is new and then you have the option where you can create the folder now in the top level folder we are going to create these three one is campaign campaigns and i'll give this color code you can set any color for it the other folder we will create on the same uh, is the uh, branding so it will store the branding documents and then finally the third one will be the reports where you can store reports and you can have a color code for it now if you look at it in the maybe in the company you will want to store details based on the yearly so you can have it let's say i'll say 2024 and then i'll choose any color for it i'll create one more folder and i will say 2023 like this and on the 2024 in fact for every year you can create uh, different folders like for example q1 and uh, 
you can create one more q2 you can see it here and q3 let's say q3 and then you can create final folder which will be q4 i can see this q4 we have created so we have now these folders are there i will take uh, the advantages of the copy to i'll just copy to this and i'll go to the campaigning i'll select this and i'll copy here so that all the folders will get created on 2023 as well you can see here right so any year you will have uh, you can have that so you know you can create uh, inside that you quarterly you can store your document so you can create that folder structure now same way for example if you'll go to the structure here now let's say for the branding you can have this logos fonts guidelines for that you can do so in the branding you can go here you create a folder on this for example like this logos and then fonts you can go here and you can create fonts for it and the final one is the guidelines so for all your brandings there should have been some guidelines and you can store this right so uh, this is about branding and the reports final one the reports let's say i want monthly quarterly annually so i'll create the folders here you can see this and then quarterly i'll create here so look at this the final folder is annual and you can go here choose this and maybe you can select this so now you see here so annual monthly and quarterly reports will be there now any user will come here if they wants to work with the branding things so they'll go here and then they can find the documents which they required or as a you know business user you want to upload some guidelines document you will come here you will upload this document so this way you can categorize and use it same way for report you, if you want monthly report you come here you can month wise your reports let's say your marketing team are uploading you can check this same way for campaigning also if you are started campaigning this year you can see quarterly how many campaigns you have done uh, in the year 2024 so this way you can uh, store your marketing team can use this document library so now you can see here like this is how you can structure a document library with folders subfolders according to your requirement you can do this and of course if there are more nested number of folders then this is not the ideal approach you you have to see you can uh, you know divide uh, the instead of one library you can have different libraries you can have metadata those things we will uh, discuss also right so if you want you know similar kind of videos then subscribe to our youtube channel because here we make videos on sharepoint power platform you know spfx all these videos we will make and uh, thank you and have a nice day